What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this super quick guide, I'll be showing you Act 4 Crownfall, how to get a maximum score on Splane's Weeper. So you can not only get the token to pass, but you can also get the 2, 5, 12 extra random tokens to help you progress super far. The very annoying thing about this is that in order to get the first thing done, you just need to beat the first level. That's not too bad. It's pretty simple Minesweeper. But in order to get the 15k, you'll need to beat the first, the second, and a little bit into the third. And in order to beat the 32 and 35 here, you'll need to finish the fourth and the fifth. And this is what the last stage looked like for me. Absolutely no idea how you're supposed to get here without doing anything sussy, unless you're a kind of minesweeper genius, but we're playing Dota. If you'd like to get through this super easily, in the description down below, you'll find a GitHub page where someone has created a super simple Minesweeper bot for Dota 2, Cranfall Act 4, last updated two weeks ago, that basically just solves it for you. It does all of the puzzle solving and even clicks for you. All you need to do is download the EXE, run it, and make sure you're at 1920 by 1080p res. So let's do exactly that. Inside of Dota, options, video, and make sure that you have your advanced screen settings, 16 by 9, 1920 by 1080. I'd also recommend you make your desktop resolution this as well if you're going to be playing borderless like me. Once you have this set up, open up Crownfall Act 4, find Spleen Sweeper, open it to here, and let's get to actually running the program. In order to download this, choose the code button. In order to download this, click the code button in the top right, this green one here, then choose download zip at the bottom of the pop-up. Once you've clicked this, saved it to your PC, you can open it up and you'll see a folder with a bunch of files inside. Copy this folder to your downloads folder, for example, and open it up. Inside of here, you'll find the same files as the GitHub repo. Just double click run.exe. You can download this separately, but it's not gonna work as it needs some files in this image folder here. Once you double click, it'll open up like this with this text. Press S to start, Q to pause, and Control C to stop. Make sure you have nothing highlighted in this window by clicking in any random spot. If you see something like this, just click to get rid of it. Then inside of Dota, open up the Spleen Sweeper and then we'll choose play. At this point, hit S and you'll see the game pauses. If we have a look at the console, it's thinking in the background, but you'll see it flashes on and off and in between each flash, it'll make a bunch of moves. I'm currently not touching my mouse at all, not thinking at all, and it's just solving it for me. This is reaching out to the internet and I'll show you in a second where exactly it's going, but just like that, it's solved. Hit Q once it's done to pause it, and then we can click through to the next puzzle. Essentially, it's spamming F9 so the timer doesn't run out, and it can take its time to think. Inside of the console, you'll see everything over here. Sometimes it complains about not being able to find it, but as long as you downloaded the zip properly, things should be fine. If it gets a bit weird, Alt-Tab back into this program and Alt-F4 to close it. That's it. This essentially works by reaching out to the servers behind this page here, logigames.com Minesweeper Solver. Essentially, you could, if you wanted, to punch in all of the numbers on your board and find the next best move where it'll tell you where to go. This is being used in this program to get something out here. Then we'll just click through to the next level with it still running. And when we get to this over here, hit S. And once again, it'll start solving. This should get you the absolute maximum number of points possible. Where it needs to make a blind decision and click a 50-50 or something like that, it'll use the swift pick or whatever it is, the mana at the bottom of your screen to make a decision so you have a good chance of not exploding. However, this of course will run out and eventually you won't have any mana to use at all if enough split 50-50 decisions need to be made. The script doesn't handle it entirely, and the bot dev says it gets a bit weird when it sees a number six. So if you see a number six, just cue to pause it and solve it yourself manually. It should be relatively simple. Sometimes just a guess is all that's needed. So again, just hitting Q to pause, S to start it. It'll use a swift slash to pick a random point at the very beginning. For now, it's fine. It's just clicking through. And eventually you may get to a point where it just gets stuck and it's clicking randomly or trying to use the swift slash, but there's no mana left. If you get to that point where it just gets stuck and it's pausing and pausing, clicking the same spot, you'll need to pause the script, then hit F9 or escape to unpause, and you'll need to click a block yourself. So one, one, maybe this one here, your mark is a mine, or click it, something like that. You'll need to make an educated guess in order to get the bot rolling once more as it can get itself into corners where it just gets stuck and it can't do anything. But for the most part, this does seem pretty foolproof. You just need to be there to watch it until it's done running through. It'll take a few minutes to get through 
through everything with about 30 seconds to a minute on each. So there we go, this one's run through to completion and unpausing, continuing, we'll start it once more for stage four or five. And there we have it, we're done with this. So we'll pause, continue, and finally five of five. This is massive and it would be a pain to do if you had to do it manually. All right, it seems like we've reached a state where it's getting confused. It's trying to use a swift slash, there's not 50 mana. So it's clicking the top corner with the swift slash, it can't do it, and it's pausing and unpausing. Here, I'll need to step in, pause it myself, and choose a corner to click. The corners are the absolute safest places to choose for your first guess in Minesweeper, so always choose one of the corners. Once you've done so, hit S to resume the script once more, and we'll wait for it to start thinking again. That's it. It's that simple. Obviously, Minesweeper isn't too difficult, but with the very few minutes you're given to get through five of these boards, it's just not enough for most average players, right? So it seems like we're stuck once more. Pause, and it's trying to choose the top left. Let's do that. And continuing it once more, we seem to have gained some mana, which is great. It used a guess there, and we should be able to get through this completely. No, it's stuck once more, and it's trying to choose that block over there. So I'll pause it, and we'll choose it manually. And it seems like we blew up. Well, that's just how it goes. At the end of this, usually it'll take one to two attempts, you'll be able to complete it and you'll finish with 35,000-ish points and you'll be done. You can very easily see which of your friends have used external software to get through this as they're going to have 35,000-ish score, if not a little bit more. This is my high score here, 35,800. Let me know if you beat it with the script. Hopefully you found this video useful. Again, you'll find it linked down below. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.